Are you ready? Mm -hmm. Okay. I'm going to let you speak, and if you want questions, let me know. Okay. The truth is, nobody ever knew. I put on a happy face every single day of my life. I never let anybody see me cry. I never let anybody know that I wasn't okay. I kept pushing and pushing my way through life. I did everything that I thought I was supposed to do. I wanted to experience life, I really did. I pushed myself, I was, I was a cheerleader in high school, I was in theater, I was a dancer, I was in student government. I kept pushing myself into life experience. I wanted to experience it, I really did. And then I did what I was supposed to do. I, I went to college and I didn't get one degree, I got two, I got a master's degree. I went and, and I got what I considered to be, what I was told would be a dream job. I, I married my high school sweetheart. I did all the things I thought I was supposed to do. And then it all came crashing down. Something wasn't right. I did end up getting a divorce and it was a positive decision. I have deep respect for the man that I got to spend time with for the, all those years. It just, we weren't meant to be married. I changed my career and that was a good decision. It was really positive. It was going in the right, in the right direction. But there was something in me that kept running, running away from a truth that I couldn't explain. And I ran and I ran and I ran until I couldn't run anymore. And I was left feeling so empty. I was left feeling so confused. And I was forced to face the darkness that is so hard to describe to somebody. I lost the light. I, I, I lost the will. I just remember laying there. I couldn't think about my friends. I couldn't think about my family. I couldn't think about anybody else. I was just left with this utter loneliness. This, this feeling of Darkness is the only word that I can use to describe it. I just felt enveloped by it. And all I can say is that it was this experience of losing the will. Losing the will to live. I, I don't even know if I had the energy to come up with an actual plan. You know, it was, it was something where it was so dark that... I just would lay there praying, praying to just have the transition happen. Just, just help me just leave. I, I didn't feel like I could do this anymore because I did everything that I was supposed to do and I was still laying there in darkness without the will. But slowly and surely, I started to talk. I found the right friends to share the story with. And they, they didn't try to fix me. They gave me permission to feel what I was feeling. And I started to realize that there was, there was a love that I didn't understand that I don't know if any of us are really taught how to do this kind of love. And it was the discovery of how to love myself. And there was a decision that I finally made, which was that I had to learn. That was the one experience that I didn't try yet. 
and all of the life experiences that I was taking on. And so I made a commitment. I made a commitment to myself and the great power beyond my understanding that I was going to try I was going to try to learn how to love myself. So I made vows. I made vows that I knew I didn't want to break and that was that I was going to learn how to love, honor and respect myself. I had no idea what that even looked like. But slowly but surely I started to learn. I I it was easier for me sometimes to think about how could I treat another person and then apply that to myself. How could I how do I love and honor somebody else? You know, would I would I treat somebody the way that I would treat how I was treating myself? And the answer was always no. I could do better. I, I could I could take this love deeper. And over the years now, it would take it would be just day by day, moment to moment of just making the choice to love myself. And then it became month to month and now now it's been years. And I realized for me life is a beautiful gift. And where I felt empty, it was that I was looking outside of myself to find something that I I I didn't know what I was searching for. But what I discovered what I was really searching for was this love that's inside of myself that I can I can channel to love myself which then envelops to love others. And now now I can cry in front of people. Now when somebody asks me how am I doing, I don't lie. I tell them. I tell them the truth. And over time as I've done that, I have discovered so many people feel the same way. So many of us, we just we didn't know it was okay to talk about it. It's okay to talk about it. It's okay. <laughs> and in the midst of the darkness, I discovered there is light. There is so much light. It is more brilliant than I could ever explain. And I'm so glad that I was gifted the opportunity to stay and that I was gifted the opportunity to live this life day to day now and experience the light and love that is truly here. I just had to learn how to love myself first. And it was worth every part of it. Yeah, that that